International Service for Human Rights video statement. Madame la Présidente. Madam Vice President, we're taking the opportunity of the adoption of Guinea's UPR report to express the satisfaction at the acceptance of a number of recommendations to try to create a safe environment for human rights defenders and to try to tackle challenges they face to ensure the freedom of expression. The referendum of the 22nd of March has seen a number of mandates and following the current president there who has presented for the third mandate, we've seen a number of violations of human rights, notably against civil society. The new candidate has led to a wave of action and there's been a number of arrests. This was the case of an individual who was arrested in 2020 after an interview given on the human rights situation in the country. Mr. Diallo has chronic diabetes and in the context of COVID-19 is at a high risk. In spite of this and ju just as just judicial decisions favor, there has been held in the prison in Conakry. As a consequence, International Service of Human Rights would continue to appeal to Guinea to put an end to impunity enjoyed by the security forces and to respect its commitment to human rights and to guarantee the enjoyment of freedom of expression, freedom of assembly. Indeed, it is key that the government of Guinea continues to work in close collaboration with civil society to try to make progress to the promotion and protection of these defenders, thus strengthening the legal framework that protects them. I thank you.